in question four we have a particle projected up an inclined plane with initial speed 30 new always sketch your diagram the line of projection makes an angle inverse tan 5 over 12 with the plane so in here call this angle a call this angle b and b is equal to 45 degrees so my initial u cos a in the i direction plus u sine a in the j direction is 13 u by the cos of a let's do this down here we have our inverse tan of opposite over adjacent given 13 for hypotenuse cos a is 12 over 13 sine a is 5 over 13 so we have 13 u by 5 over 13 in the i direction plus 13 u by the sine of a so we have cos a there 12 wrong number in and then sine a 5 over 13 in the j direction so cancel my 13s i get 12 u in the i direction plus 5 u in the j direction for my initial velocity call it u1 my acceleration in the i direction is minus g sine b which is minus g by the sine of b let's do that down here well, we're told b is 45 so we just sign a 45 which is 1 over root 2 as is the cos of 45 so the accelerations would be equal here minus g by 1 over root 2 for both so minus g over root 2 minus g over root 2 we're asked or we're told the particle next strikes the plane at a point p so we're going to need the time of flight and if the coefficient of restitution is 2 over 5 show that the particle rises vertically so we're going to need velocities first of all we get the time of flight here then we look at the velocity of x and the velocity of y so when is s of y equal to zero to get the time of flight ut plus a half at squared is equal to zero so my 5u in the y direction times t plus it's going to be minus g over 4 g over root 2 sorry 2 root 2 minus g over 2 root 2 times t squared equals zero so factor out your t to get 5u minus gt over 2 root 2 so we get our initial t equals 0 and 5u by 2 root 2 is going to be equal to gt so divided by g will give me t which is 10 root 2u over g time of flight when the particle strikes and s of y becomes zero for my initial and my ending point so looking at getting my velocities now v of x is equal to u plus a t so i have my 12 u minus g over root 2 times t which is 10 root 2 u over g and this is my velocity at the point of impact so cancel my g's cancel my root 2's i'm going to get 12u minus 10u so it's just going to be 2u v of y is going to be u plus at 5u and then at is going to be the same minus g over root 2 times 10 root 2 u over g so we're going to get 5u minus sorry to u 
be outside. That's ten, five u minus ten u minus five u in the y direction. Then the velocity is now two u in the y direction minus five u in the j direction. So this is just before impact. And then after impact, it's going to be 2ui. Minus 5u by minus e. And what were we told e was? 2 over 5. And we're asked to show that the particle rises vertically. So we end up with 2u in the i direction minus 5u by minus 2 over 5 so we're going to get 2u in the i direction plus 2u in the j direction which means that we have our 45 degree angle here the particle bounces up at a 45 degree angle the inverse tan of 2 over 2 if we want to write that down so that means we would have 45 degrees again so if it bounces 45 degrees it means that it's gone vertically straight like this or if we say it's it started the angle in here is 45 and if it bounces up at 45 we can just say 45 plus 45 is 90 degrees 